Hello everyone, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink and I have this fun, quick and easy, almost a mini card um, using the Mama Elephant's Tiny Ninjas stamp set. This stamp set's actually not available until October unless you get the Simon Says Stamp Masterpiece box of which this is my third, third video so far using um, stamps from that Masterpiece box. So I will have um, a link to that and the info in the description box below the video. So I've been dying to ink up this set because it's just so cute. So I started off with some, just some light gray cardstock from my stash that I had cut to four and a quarter by eight and a half. And then I scored it at four and a quarter. So this is going to be a four and a quarter inch square card. And these stamps are brand new. And one, th what I do when I have brand new stamps that haven't been inked up, um, a lot of people have problems and I do too with the ink pooling up on the stamps they just you know they're brand brand new and it almost is like the stamps themselves are resisting the ink so you can do many things but the quickest and easiest thing i find is i just literally rub my fingers and my hands against the stamps and like the residue on your hands from like the oils of your skin and all that you'll see they kind of like rubs away at the stamps and kind of coats the stamps so they don't look clean and pristine anymore but that's perfect because then they ink up so much better so I rub them really well. I know some people will um, use an eraser. I've done that in the past as well, like rub an eraser against your stamps. Um, just anything to kind of remove that brand newness um, on your stamps will enable it to take ink a whole lot better. So I did that with my stamps and then I just used some Simon Says Stamp. This is their Fog ink and stamped some of the ninjas and created just a background on the base of this card. And then to fill in the small areas there, the, I used a little, I think they're just, are they ninja stars? Is that what you call them? Um, there's two sizes of those. So I stamped those randomly in some of the open spaces just to fill it out. And then I just took some white cardstock and I die cut that with uh, MFT Stitched Heart Stacks Dynamics. And I'm stamping one of the little ninjas this time with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And then decided I didn't like how the rest of the heart looked kind of empty. So I stamped a couple more of the ninjas just over some um, grid paper here with that same fog ink, just to kind of look like he's kind of like spinning around on that little heart. <laughs> so stamp those. And then one reason why I love this set is this, this is kind of why, and I've said this in like live streams and whatnot. I really love pandas and penguins and polar bear images because they're super easy to color. Snowmen, snowmen are another one. Um, now you can add ninjas to the list. <laughs> because there's no effort required. So I could have just left it as is. Um, I've seen pe other people that have got the box already and have been using a stamp set. I'm not like coloring in the image at all, which totally works, but I thought I would just color in the skin area. So I just pulled out my E40 and E42 Copic marker and quickly colored in, you know, the little part of the face and the hands that took all of like 10 seconds. And then set that aside and I had die cut um, the word hello with Simon Says Stamp painted hello dye. And I die cut that three times from some black cardstock and then stacked those together with my multi-medium matte adhesive. And then I popped the heart onto my card base with some foam tape. And then I figured out where I wanted to place the hello and part of it is going to hang over. And so this time I pulled out my Cooltac clear foam, which I save for things like this, where it's really a little bit finicky and there's more chance you might see if you use regular foam tape, especially behind the black, you would see it. So that's where the clear is really, really nice. And it's pretty much sticky on all sides. This stuff is super sticky. So I trimmed down what I needed to back um, just that last half of the sentiment there and then removed the little plastic backing and then figured out what part of the sentiment was actually going to be over the heart. And that's where I added the multimedia matte adhesive for that part. So once I got all my adhesive on there, I can pop that onto um, my card and that'll keep it from getting flattened having that um, clear foam tape behind the part that hangs over the heart and then I die cut several little hearts from some red cardstock using the Simon Says Stamp mini hearts die set so die cut all those so I had just random hearts and just decided which ones I wanted to use so I adhered one small one right below the sentiment and then decided to adhere a couple more um, one on the background and one um, near the main image just because um, doing things in threes and in sort of a triangle formation is more pleasing to the eye so I did that and then to finish the inside of the card, there's this long stamp that says you snuck your way into my heart and I wanted it to stamp on two lines. So rather than like masking and fiddling around and lining it up, I just cut it in half. Super simple. I know and trust me, you guys, I used to be in the same camp. Like you almost have a small heart attack when you see someone cutting apart their stamps, but they still stamp perfectly. 
And if I want to stamp it back on one line, I can just bump them back up together in the same way and stamp it you know, the way it was intended to be stamped. So I stamped that and then I stamped one of the little ninjas right behind it with the fog ink again and then adhered one of the tiniest little die cut hearts from that um, stacked hearts or not stacked hearts. What is it called? Mini hearts um, set. And then as a final little embellishment, I decided I wanted to make the hearts glossy. So I coated all the hearts on the card front with um, a generous coating of glossy accents and I have a fine applicator tip on my bottle which just makes it so much easier to use. Love that. So I will have that linked as well. I always link that beside. I have a fine applicator tip on my multimedia mat as well as my glossy accents and it just it makes a world of a difference. So I filled that in and then I set that aside to dry fully and this just turned into just a fun quick and easy little card. So like I said, I will have a video or a link below the video to my blog post. I'll have a link to the masterpiece box on Simon Says site so you can check it out if you um, haven't heard of it yet. And all that stuff will be in the description box below the video. So thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping my videos and all your comments. I really appreciate it and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye!